guys welcome back to the channel I'm glad that you're watching I'm excited to shoot today's video from the beautiful city of Bariloche in Argentina um, in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to start a YouTube channel how to get your first 1,000 subscribers and how to get 4,000 hours of watch time so why is this 1,000 subscriber thing and the 4,000 watch hours important this is especially important if you want to monetize your YouTube channel at the end of it all. So basically what YouTube requires you to do for them to be able to pay you for um, advertisements on your YouTube channel, you must get at least 1,000 subscribers subscribed. So basically um, once you get monetized then you can start making money off of your um, YouTube videos. So every time you're watching a YouTube video, uh, you may sometimes have seen where an advert interrupts your um, moment and you're watching the video. So basically, this is what keeps um, content creators uh, being able to produce more content. This is because um, it's every time you watch um, an advertisement on a YouTube video, then the content creator gets paid. Um, so without much further ado, so how do you um, start your YouTube channel? How do you make sure that um, you hit the 1,000 subscriber and 4,000 um, watch time hours threshold so you to get monetized? So number one tip that has worked especially for me is you just have to shoot the video. So start by shooting the video. So you can't talk about starting a YouTube channel without the videos, yeah? And um, it depends on what uh, you want to talk about so you can actually um, shoot videos with your face on them or there's other options to create um, YouTube videos that do not have to have your face on them and um, before you start shooting videos find a general area that you'd like to focus on so in my case for instance I am focusing on the issue of bringing dreams alive you know so I'm here just to tell people that you can follow your dreams it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter what time it is as long as you believe in them you can follow them because they're valid so if you look at my youtube channel it falls into three main categories so number one is travel content number two is um, documenting my violin journey and number three um, is documenting my journey learning Kenya sign language so those are the three broad areas that you'll find my videos falling along and it will be important for you as a content creator to always also find an area that you think you can provide value on and something else when you decide to pick um, an area that you want to be shooting content about personally my personal advice i would give you is go for a topic that is already familiar to you something you're already doing consistently and the advantage or something that you're learning and the beauty about this is you will never run out of content so in my case for instance i am on a journey to visit all the 139 un recognized countries so what that means is every time i am traveling i can be able to create content about the area that i have visited um i also started learning violin about a year ago and um as a 40 year plus old um it's not very easy learning the violin so just documenting my journey um the challenges um the opportunities that it provides so there's bound to be a lot of content around that area as well and then there's also learning um kenya sign language that i started learning in 2019. so obviously as you can see these are topics so the travel is something that i'm very familiar with and uh, violin and Kenya sign language are things that I was um, learning about. So there's a lot of content to create um, about my journey. And because everybody's journey is different, um, there's bound to be a um, unique angle that I can contribute uh, to that space. So once you have from the general um, areas or topics you want to talk about, you must now narrow down further. So in my case, um, the greater part of my content is about travel. But travel is so big. So I started um, focusing on visa travel because that is one area I noticed that was having a shortage of content. And um, with my Kenyan passport, I can only travel to about 66 of the UN recognized countries. So that means for the 130 plus countries, 
I have to get a visa. So again, this is a lot of content to shoot around. So every time I apply for a new country's visa, I document that process. So basically that's what you want to look at. Look at an area that is evergreen, that we always have topics. Look at an area that you're already familiar with. Um, look at an area that you're learning. So it will also be um, an exciting way for you to document your journey, right? The number two thing you want to look at once you have already identified your um, niche, you've already identified what topics you want to cover. Again, as I mentioned, you must shoot the videos. Like there's no way around it, you must shoot the videos. And then number three, once you have shot the videos, you must tell people about your channel. When you're still new, not many people know about you. So take advantage of both offline and online um, media to talk about your channel so in my case for instance i already had um, an active instagram account so i took advantage every time i shoot a new video i would tell my um, fans on instagram hey there's a new video on um, youtube you may want to take a look at it and um, also um, among my peers among my acquaintances um, your friends your workplace colleagues tell them you have a youtube channel and ask them to subscribe right so every time you're in an environment where um, people are interested uh, people who could benefit from the type of content that you're shooting feel free to tell them you have a channel and um, one thing i have learned is um, as long as you're um, solving a problem for people or entertaining them they will very happily um, subscribe to your content Number three thing you want to look at when you're starting a YouTube channel, working towards your 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 um, watch time, focus on topics that either solve um, a problem for somebody or a group of people or something that entertains a specific group of people. So in my case, for instance, it was very easy um, as someone who shoots travel videos to just show people like, hey, I went to... Switzerland this is what I did but they don't know Eva they don't know me at that point and they don't really care so but they would probably want to know how do I get a visa as I don't know an Indian passport holder or as a Kenyan passport holder how do I get a visa to go to Switzerland or I want um, a five-year multiple entry Schengen visa how do I go about that or I want to go to Saudi Arabia for tourism how do I go about that? So focus on topics that um, answer or solve problems for people. So when you're starting early on, I know the temptation is just to just shoot stuff about yourself and, you know, hey, look at me. But um, especially when you're still new, nobody knows about you, focus on your audience. They should be the main reason why you shoot videos. You're shooting for somebody. You're answering a question that somebody has. And then number five um, thing you want to look at is um, narrow down your audience, right? So it's very um, tempting to want to shoot videos for everybody, but you cannot please everyone, right? So in my case, for instance, I started focusing specifically the travel videos was for um, people who need a visa to travel. So every time I'm shooting a video, that's the person that I have in mind somebody who needs to travel to whichever country and they're gonna need a visa to travel so that's a very specific kind of person with a very specific need when it comes to sign language i am focusing specifically on somebody who wants to learn kenya sign language so there's a ton of sign languages around the world but i'm focusing on kenya sign language when it comes to violin um people can pretty much learn violin at whatever stage in their life but I'm focusing on the adult um, violin student, yeah? Like the person who wants to learn violin at the age of 40. Is it doable? Can it be done? And I'm here to document my journey to tell people that actually you can start to learn, play the violin at 40 and actually play it well. So you have to have your audience in mind whenever you are shooting, right? And then um, number six, um, point you need to put into consideration is um, ask people yeah so again I already mentioned when you have shot your videos 
don't just keep quiet i mean at that point google doesn't know you nobody knows you so you have to like physically ask people so in my case for instance now there is a button And um, request um, people to subscribe on my Instagram account. I ask people to subscribe on my Facebook. I ask people to subscribe and to watch the videos. So you have to ask. There's no harm in asking, yeah. So that's point number six. Um, point number seven is check your analytics. Like which of your which of the videos that you have um, posted are getting more watch views. So in my case, for instance, I noticed. Um, there's a lot of um, people who are interested in finding out the US visa process, like what kind of questions do they ask you, um, what if you have a relative in the US, so check your best performing videos and then produce more content around that area because that basically means that this is something that people are actually looking for and you can create content for them, so you're not just um, speaking to some babies, but you're speaking to an actual um, human being. Um, point number seven, when you're looking to move to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time, is don't give up, yeah? So, um, one thing that I learned um, about Google is that it takes, so by the way, YouTube is owned by Google, so they're basically one and the same thing, and um, they are the greatest search engines on the planet right now, so Google and YouTube are the greatest search like the most popular search engines. So one thing I noticed um, is that it takes a while for any of um, your YouTube videos to rank unless you're super, super lucky and one of your videos just is um, viral. So what I have noticed, even for blog post articles, anything to rank on Google, it takes between six and eight months. So what that means basically is that you are going to shoot your video today February or whatever that is and you might not be able to run or be found in such instance until towards the end of the year Unfortunately, most people will shoot their videos and then give up and say oops, no one is watching and they give up just at the point when they would have started trending So my point is don't give up. Just keep um, producing more content produce um, consistently and the advantage of being consistent and uh, continue to produce content is let's say you have shot a video in February another one in March, April, May. So that means um, from the eighth month, which will be in December, every other month you're going to be having a video that starts ranking, yeah? And um, something else you want to do is to create playlists. So basically a playlist groups a group of videos and they could be grouped. Uh, so personally for mine, I have grouped them in terms of topics. So for example, topics I'm talking about visas, the groups, they are grouped together. If I'm talking about um, how to get money for travel, they are grouped together. And the advantage of having a playlist is that when somebody has watched one of your videos, um, Google automatically sends them to the next video on the playlist. So if it's something that is relevant to their need or is relevant to the questions that they have, then it's to your advantage because they end up watching that video as well. Yeah. So. Um, and then, again, as I mentioned, um, be consistent, don't compare, don't give up, and just start, you know, like, you don't need, like, super fancy equipment, you don't need, um, you know, crazy stuff, but as long as you're solving a problem for somebody, then I am certain that you will get the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 um, hours of watch time. So, um, that has been my experience, so early... Um, January, so no, sorry, sometime in mid-January, I hit my 1,000 subscriber um, mark and 4,000 hours um, watch time, and I'm currently just waiting for um, YouTube to get back to me in terms of the monetization and uh, how the whole of that works. So that's basically it for today. I'm glad that you stood up to the very end, and if you haven't subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell so that every time I shoot a new video you'll be the first person to know. I am so glad that you stood up to the very end. I certainly enjoyed making this video for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below and see you in the next video.